Let's go back in time to the beginning of the project. I knew I was only going to get one sensor kit, so the question I asked myself was, how do I make one sensor serve um, all the places in the state? And the obvious answer was to make it mobile. Specifically, I wanted um, the sensor attached to a taxi so it could collect air quality data as the taxi drove around Lagos State. The problem here is one sensor wouldn't really be able to cover much ground, but that was fine too because um, the system is scalable, which simply means the coverage could be improved by simply adding more sensors or more taxis. That was not the only problem though. This is my modified EDSK and I've attached a GSM and a GPS module to it, as well as a battery pack. This makes it mobile and I have indeed taken it all around Lagos on multiple occasions. But mobile is a bit of a stretch. I mean, look at the size of this thing which also um, makes it a bit of a tough sell for potential carriers. Um, so back to the present day where Design Spark said, okay, Ahmed, why not um, build your own sensor, something expressly designed for what you're trying to do. And that's where we are today with me trying to design and build a portable mobile air quality logger, something that's very versatile in the way it allows me to collect air quality data. So I um, 3D printed a few of this model cars to represent um, the mobile air quality loggers, as well as a few of this Eiffel Tower models to represent network gateways. I thought it'd be interesting to actually visualize what a sensor network would look like in Lagos. I also made um, a few of this cardboard circles. It's a scaled down circle based on the dimensions of the interactive air quality map. It's meant to represent a 14 kilometer coverage area, but um, the actual size is only about 19 centimeters. So the places um, in Lagos are usually classified as the mainland, which is this area over here, and then the highland, which is um, this area below. The main road connecting the, um, the mainland to the highland comes all the way from Ikorodu to, um, to the Lagos island. And this road is where you typically see a lot of the traffic in Lagos State from um, people going to and then coming back from work. Now, the maximum straight distance of any place in Lagos to this road is about 67 um, kilometers. So Lagos is actually not a very big place. It's densely populated, yes, but it's not very big. It's only about 0.3% of the total landmass of um, of Nigeria, which is really weird to think about. Anyways, its size is actually an advantage for me in terms of um, setting up an air quality monitoring network. Um, if I place um, these towers around the mainland, I'm kind of overlapping them because um, that's a more realistic um, network setup. You can kind of see just how much area is covered by just four um, gateways. So any mobile sensor that would operate in this area would be able to um, communicate and send live air quality data through any of these gateways. Um, so what I can so what I can do now is use this model to kind of estimate just um, how many gateways would be required to cover the whole of Lagos. Obviously, this is me thinking in the grand um, scheme of the project, but for a start, I'll probably just focus on the more connected um, areas. 